Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we will discuss the difference between count star, count one and count column name. So this is one single function only, but these are the three ways in which, I mean, the three ways which people use usually. So I'm gonna explain the difference between the three and this is a very common interview question. So you should know the answer to it. So uh, let's begin with the video. So count star function counts the total rows in the table including the null value. So when you write star, star means everything. So whenever you write count star, then the number of records in the table will be printed. So the number of records, even even if uh, there are few uh, rows in the table that are null that have null values, then also it will count it. But when you write count column name, this will count the number of records where the column name is not null. So all the records where the value is not null for that particular column name so it will take a count of that and that will be returned okay and what about count one so count one is same as count star so both are identical but what this means is when you write count one or count anything for that matter count two or anything it just means that you are assigning that value to each row of that column so uh, sorry uh, what does what does the value in the parentheses of count mean so if it's um, it's the value that the count function will assign to every row in the table so whatever you write over here so one one in this case or if you write two or three that value will be assigned to every row in the table and the function will then count how many times the asterisk or one or minus two five six or whatever number you write over there has been assigned okay so of course it will be assigned a number of times that's equal to the number of rows in the table so now let's see it practically so this is my table okay okay so my table uh, has two columns id and name and i have 10 records and there are few names and there are few null values also so now let's write count star okay now if i run it will give me 10 so there are total 10 records so the output will be 10 now if i write count id okay so i'm going to give a column name over here then what will be the result 10 why so uh i'll show you just a second okay So the column ID has values in it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The column name has null values. So if I write select count name, okay, then what will be the output? The output will be 6 because it will not count the null values. That is how count column name works, okay. Now if I write over your count column 1. So whatever you write over here, it will work same as count star. So output will be 10. If I write over here, say minus 999, let's see the output. 10. Now if I even write, for example, if I write over here, crack concepts. again the output will be 10 so what 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 this means is uh, this whatever we write over here that value will be assigned to every row in the in the table and and it will just count that so this is uh, this is the difference between count star count one and count column name so let's have a look at this again so count star function counts the total rows and it will include the null values but count column name will not include null values in it okay and count star and count one are the same thing so i hope uh, this video was clear and you all could understand the difference between count star count one and count name count column name so uh, also check out my other playlist on the channel check check it out it will be quite helpful to you so i have a full playlist for sql related videos sql interview related videos and python 
interview uh, related videos tableau also so just check it out and you all might find it helpful so do check it out and also if you found this video helpful subscribe to my channel that will help my channel more so please do that to support us and that is it for today's video i'll see you guys next time